What's going on everybody, Fetter here from 3D Print SOS. Welcome back to the channel. Today I was messing around with the printer trying to make sure that everything was nice and square on the Z axis, which happily it, everything was. Uh, but I did notice an issue underneath the printer right here on the right side of the machine. I noticed some dust underneath of where this tensioner is that uh, tensions the belt on the X axis. And I see that something is a little bit off here that I didn't notice. So I went ahead and checked it against my other machines and three of my eight machines had the same exact problem. So what's happening is the tensioners uh, aren't set up exactly straight and what's happening is the belt is actually rubbing up against one of the sides of the extrusions causing it to uh, get frayed on the edges and dust uh, developing underneath the printers. Like I mentioned, three of my machines have the same exact problem. So let me get you a little bit closer so you can see what I'm talking about and I'll show you how to fix this problem. All right, so let me show you what's happening here. If you can see on camera here, this tensioner is actually skewed to this side. And if I go ahead and take some pressure off of it, you can tell that there is some play here. And the play is all on this bolt right here. What's happening is if you try to tighten this bolt to hold it in place, you can't tighten it any further. And that's because it's actually butting up the bolt on this side. So it has nowhere to go. And you can actually strip this side if you try too hard. So what, what, uh, what basically is happening is under tension, this tensioner is moving off to the side. And if you can tell through this hole here, the belt is moving all the way to this side and it's causing it to rub up against the extrusion here, causing all kinds of skips and grinds. And that's what I'm finding all the dust underneath the printer from. Uh, so that's an interesting find. I never noticed this in the past. And like I said, I checked my other machines and there are two more uh, of a similar fashion that have a really similar, uh, if not the same, uh, type of tensioner on it. They have the same exact issue. I just never noticed that that's what it was for. So here's how you fix it. Let's go ahead and take it apart. We're going to take all the tension off of the belt here by taking that off. Uh, let me go ahead and move these tools out of the way. Uh, let's first go ahead and take this one apart on this side. This bolt, and it's actually only being held by a few threads, which is interesting. Let's take this one off and now see this one is nice and free because it has nothing to butt up against. Let me go ahead and take this one off. Of course it's caught on something and there we go. Okay, there, as you can see, they're the same type of hardware. So if we pull this off, you can see that there's a little bit of a relief here so that it butts up or doesn't butt up against uh, this piece right here. But when we put it on, it does, and it has some wiggle room. And that's okay, because this bolt should be able to hold all this. And here's what's happening. Here's a closer look. Uh, when this is a little bit off skew, it moves up against right there, and it rubs. And you can see by my belt here, it's been doing this for quite some time now. There's dust everywhere. Even some metal shavings looks like from this belt doing this. So luckily I caught it soon enough. This will still be okay uh, because there's no gear on this side uh, that's needed for these teeth. But if I didn't catch this soon enough, I'm assuming this printer, I mean printer, this belt would be um, just ruined after some time. So here's what you do. It's actually a simple fix. What you need is a washer. The reason for this washer is when we go to assemble this back together, just like this, take any one of these bolts, put it back on this side, and we're gonna make sure that this one is tightened all the way. It doesn't have to be extremely tight, but just past tight is good. There we go. And now let's go ahead and get a little bit of tension on here so I can show you what's going on. You can see the belt is real loose. And as we screw this in, it gets tension. You want the belt to be tight, not guitar string tight, but also not loose. You don't want anything skipping. So there you go. This is about the tension I want right there. As you can see, without that bolt, it is really, really skewed. So we're gonna go ahead and put on a washer, and this is going to give us just enough bite on the teeth uh, to be able to uh, hold tension on the tensioner. So let's go ahead and get it started by holding uh, this back manually. And let's go ahead and tighten it up. Just 
just like this. So when we're getting a little bit closer, I'm just gonna go ahead and loosen some tension just so I can show you guys what I mean. I'm gonna hold it far right, uh, put some tension on it manually, and I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this bolt right here. And like I said, you don't wanna over tighten it. It is plastic here. You don't want anything butting up against anything. But now when we give tension, this thing is sitting perfectly straight. Let's get the tension about right, right over here. And now it is not rubbing up against, and you can, I can feel how much smoother uh, this uh, x-axis actually is now, all thanks that this tensioner is now aligned. What a simple little fix. Um, and like I said, I think this is a problem on quite a few machines actually, uh, because I have two of the same brand and one of a different brand, but definitely check your tensioners, especially if they're plastic like this, and make sure that this bolt is not bottomed out. As you can see, a simple washer fixes this entirely. And now this is running nice and smooth. All right guys, so there you have it, a fix to a problem that we probably shouldn't be having. But luckily, at least that's a really easy fix and I'm glad I caught it now before something worse happened with the belt and I had to uh, you know, invest in a belt to replace it. So there you go. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. Uh, share it with somebody who you think might be having this similar issue or might uh, run into this issue. I'm sure they would appreciate it as well. Go ahead and check out the Discord in the description. There's a link, uh, an invite so that you can join, share your prints, talk 3D printing, troubleshoot your machine just like this. A lot of people in there that are really helpful and helping me answer questions, which I really appreciate. On top of that, I wanna mention that I started a Patreon. I'm still working out all the kinks and the tears on the Patreon, but I wanna find some way to uh, show my appreciation for what you guys are doing and your support for the channel. So I went ahead and started one of those so that we can try to uh, figure out what I can provide and showcase you, find some deeper connection uh, between you guys instead of just me sitting in the comments or on the Discord channel. So really fun and excited to get that going. Please check it out if you want to support the channel. All right, guys, hopefully this video has been helpful for somebody. And as always, I'll see you in the comments later.